Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to use connected app to access any point platform resources using APIs. Here we are on the MuleSoft documentation page related to connected app. So what is connected app? Connected app helps or enables external application to integrate with any point platform using APIs. And it uses OAuth 2.0 and OpenID. Connected app helps delegate their access without sharing sensitive credentials. So instead of providing the user password of any point platform, we can create a connected app and with the help of connected app, we can access the any point platform APIs and we can get the resources. We can get the data, like uh, we can get the application detail, we can get the environment detail, organization detail, we can retrieve this kind of data from any point platform with the help of connected app without passing the user and password. We can also perform some activity like we can do deployment, CI CD deployment using Maven plugin without passing the any point platform user password. We can use the connected app credentials like client ID and secret and we can pass that and we can perform the deployment using Mule Maven plugin. So CI CD also can be done using connected app and we can retrieve the data using APIs and providing the token that we retrieved with the help of connected app, client ID and client secret. We will see that in detail when we'll create a connected app and we will retrieve the data using API. So here is the type of connected app, the two type of connected app, app that acts on behalf of user app that acts on behalf of itself app that acts on its own behalf in this type of connected app we can only pass the grant type client credentials and this is a uh, good for uh, ci cd pipeline like uh, if you want to deploy using ci cd instead of providing any point uh, platform user password you can use the client credential grant type and we can pass the connected app, client ID and client secret. So it is best suits for a machine to machine interaction where two apps are interacting like a CI CD script that actually use the Mule Maven plugin and that can do deployment that can connect to any print platform. In that case, we can use client credential. When user can log in and we can get the authorization code. So here user interaction is required. In that case, we can use the authorization code, grant type. We have more grant type like password and JWT VRR grant types as well. So now let's create the connected app. I will go to the AnyPoint platform. And here I will go to the access management. I will go to the connected app. Previously, I created two connected app. I will create a new connected app so I can show you how to create it. Click create app. Here I will select the second option app acts on its own behalf for this demo. So I will use this option. Now I can add the scope because what kind of scope you want to provide to the external system that we can uh, do it by assigning the scope. So click add scope. And here we can provide the scope. So I will search for a scope view organization. So I will select this scope. Then I want to view environment. So I will select this view environment scope. I want to read applications. I will select read applications. I selected three scopes. Click next. Here, business group. I have organization name Mule. So I will select the Mule. Click next. I have three environment. I will select all of three. Click next. So here we can review our selections. So we have view environment scope, view organization scope, and read application scope. I will add the scopes and I will save this detail. I have to provide the connected app name. So I will say test 
connected app now i will click save so i have created a app test connected app and here is the client id and client secret now i will invoke some apis and i will use this client id and client secret first i will get the token using client id and client secret so i will go to the postman here is the url to get the token let me show you from where i got this url here i selected the connected app examples so this is access management api and this is connected app examples so here i went to the grant type client credential grant type so this is example we need to use this url with the post method and this is the information we need to provide so that's what we have in our postman and we need to have any point dot news of dot com and then we have this accounts api b2 oauth2 token i'm copying again here and we need to provide client id client secret and grant type this is my old client id client secret i was trying before so i will copy this uh, from new connected app that we just created so i will copy the client id and paste it here i will copy client secret paste it here grant type client credential so this is our request and that's what we want to send to get the token i will click send so we got the token here let me save it in a token value so this is saved now i will get the organization detail environment detail so i can call the environments api so let me show you how i build this api first so this is a access management api so i will go and search for environment api from here so under organization organization id here is slash environment get so this is the end point that's what i am using let me copy this so this it is same let me paste it again and i will show you how to get the organization id so let me retrieve the organization id so for that i will go to the business groups i will search for my organization and this is my organization id i will replace this here here i am passing authorization bearer token and i am using the token that we just got it using get token call api call so let me send it so we got the data so this is environment detail we have a design environment of type design we have a dev environment of type sandbox and we have sandbox environment type sandbox
now we will get the application all the application for a particular environment so let me tell you how i got this api first so let me go back in access management access list and here i will go to the cloud hub api i will search for b2 applications and get so this is the endpoint for getting application detail and that's what i have here so let me copy it again authorization bearer token i'm passing the same value that we retrieved it few minute back in headers we need to pass environment id so let me show you how i got this environment id so we retrieved the environment detail few second back so i will get the environment dev environment i will get the id of dev environment because i have deployed few application on this dev environment i will go to the applications headers and i will copy it again here so this is my dev environment so i want to retrieve all the application of dev environment click send and we got the detail so we have a one application hello app we have another application ci cd demo and we have one more application ci cd app so we have three application that's what we got in dev environment let's check here in any point platform i will go to the runtime manager so we can see that we have three application that's what we got it actually from the api now i will retrieve the alerts so this is the endpoint for getting the alert let me show you how i got this so for alert i went to b2 api of cloud hub and here we can say get and this is the endpoint for getting alerts so that's what i am having here let me paste it again authorization i am sending bearer token and the value is same that we retrieved few minute back click send and we got 4034 bidden that means we are able to authenticate but we are not allowed to retrieve this information if you remember when we created the connected app right here let me go there access management connected app if you remember we have not provided the scope related to alerts and that's why we are not able to get that information because we are not authorized so let me add the scope so i will add a scope here and i will search for alert and i will say read alerts so i am giving this uh, scope as well to this connected app click next i will select business group mule click next i will give uh, all environment so i select all environment click next add scopes and save changes now we have a scope for the read alerts as well now let's try again click send again okay it takes some time to get that uh, scope applied so click send again okay what i will do actually i will get the token again maybe that could be the reason 
So we got the new access token. Now save this in a token value variable. Now I will invoke the alerts. Click send. Still not we are getting. So this time we got the 200 OK and we got the response, but there is no alert because I don't have any alert created there under runtime manager. So we can go to runtime manager and we can create alert and let's see what happens. I will go to alerts, add alerts. I will give the name uh, CPU alert test info is fine application type I will say cloud hub applications I will apply on CI CD app condition CPU usage everything default is fine and here I will provide the my email address Click enter, submit. So we have one alert. Let me go to the postman and see. We are able to retrieve that alert. Click send and we got the data. So this is the alert we just created and we are getting it. So we are able to access the resources using APIs without sending the any point platform user password. We are just retrieving the first token using client ID and client secret of the connected app and passing the appropriate grant type. We are first getting the access token and then we are passing that access token and we are able to retrieve the data from any point platform. Similarly, we can use the client ID and client secret grant type or access token directly to deploy application using CI CD pipeline. But I will show you that in some another demo in future right now this is all in this video i showed you how to use a connected app to retrieve the data from any point platform without passing the sensitive credential this is all in this video if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much